In this video, I'm going to show you how to fit um, a Procon 32, our part number, and this is a IEC male TV plug. Um, comes apart, unscrew the, the back collar, comes apart, there's three pieces to it. Um, on, on this one, it's one of the better plugs, there is no little grub screw that you find on uh, some plugs. Uh, this makes fitting the plug a lot easier, so it's in three parts. Prepare your cable, uh, this is our Pro Strip 01, um, absolutely fantastic tool for doing this kind of thing, makes the job so much easier, um, strips both uh, parts of the cable uh, in one foul swoop. If you want to know how to calibrate the tool, if you've already got the tool, I suggest you buy it. If you haven't, um, you can check out our other video on how to calibrate to your cable, um, also on YouTube. Uh, but put your coax into the tool, like so, uh, if it's flush with the, the black piece there. Give it a twist, you layer it cutting the, the cable as you do, put that down away. And be very, very careful when you pull off these pieces, that's the first piece that it's cut, that leaves you with this, there's a second cut there, very careful on peeling that away, uh, you want to leave some of this braiding, uh, it's, that's the shielding for the cable, stops the interference getting into the cable, but be very careful with the little pieces of metal, uh, the little pieces of wire that, uh, that come off, you want to be sure that, this, that these little fine wires aren't touching the centre core. Um, now the reason behind that is if, if, if what, even one strand of these fine wires are touching the, the centre core, that, that causes a short. Uh, the downside to the short would be two things. Um, one, it causes attenuation to the signal. Uh, and two, it will stop any DC voltage travelling. So if you're using an amp, uh, perhaps a mastered amplifier, uh, or you're connecting it through RF2 on your skybox, this will stop. Uh, power travelling around the system. So very important that not one single strand of that fine wire is touching the inner core. Uh, I can't stress that enough. Back to your plug. Don't forget to put the collar on first. I've done that so many times. And this is the grip. This this hole this grips onto the the PVC jacket of the uh, cable. Pops over there like that. That stops the plug coming off once it's tightened up. No grip screw on these. So very easy. Um, what I always do, a little tip, is I give the inner core a little bend. Now that makes the the cable scrape along this this inner hole and it makes sure that you've got a, a good connection to the plug as you um, as you slide it on. So that, that fits over there like so. There you go, so that, that's what that should look like. Bring your collar up screw your collar on if if you find if you're having trouble screwing the collar on uh, another little tip twist it the opposite way so twist it as if you're undoing it uh, that engages the thread and allows you to very easily tighten that up tighten it all the way up you'll notice that the that the grip the teeth at the back um, that, that's now biting into the PVC it stops the plug coming off that's what your plug should look like once it's finished